Hi, what's up YouTube? Today we did a nice little kayak canoe rental over at a place called Okotoma. It's um, about 30 minutes away from Hattiesburg, Mississippi. So if you're in the area, I highly recommend you check this place out. Here's their pricing on their website. Just go to okotoma.com and it'll show you the rental rates and this is what the going rates are for the canoes and kayaks. Um, if you check out the link in the description below, I also put a nice little list of some must-have items that you need to bring on your trip. This is the small group that I decided to go on this awesome kayak trip with. Um, I actually decided to run out the two-person kayak, which is a Jackson kayak. They also have a single-person Jackson kayak as well, and you can also run out a canoe. We decided to go on the seven-mile trip. You can supposedly go about 14 miles, but there's a seven-mile marker, and we stopped off over there. But it was a really fun day, it did rain a little bit, and it was a little overcast, which was nice because it was actually hot outside once the sun was out. Yeah. There was also a really nice jump off point. Don't forget to bring your fishing pole if you like to go fishing. We did come across a lot of different types of bugs and snakes and turtles, so be aware of those different creatures out there. It's a good idea to have a life jacket, especially since some of the areas of the river do get kind of rough. If you're out kayaking or canoeing anywhere, it's always best to have a nice waterproof case. Um, I have those in the link in the description below if you want to check those out. I like to use a waterproof case for my phone and I have a nice waterproof bag. Um, it actually comes in 10 liters, 20 liters, or 30 liters depending on how much you want to carry. But there's always a possibility when you go out there on the water that you may flip over. We had a few of my friends that flipped over and all their stuff got wet. Some people even lost things. So it's nice to have something that floats on the river and protects it from water from coming in. You can also make little stops on the side of the river and you can just adventure around and we actually found this little creek over here that has fresh water flowing in from it. Here's a quick glance at the kayaks and the canoe. In the very front is the canoe that can seat up to three people. In the middle is a Jackson kayak with a single seat and to the far right is a Jackson kayak that can seat two people. One of the benefits of using a canoe is you have more weight capacity so you can seat more people and you can fit more belongings like a backpack, a nice full size cooler. The only downside to having the canoe is the fact that it's a conductor of electricity so if lightning strikes you'll probably get shocked. But aside from that it's not as easy to maneuver around as a kayak so I do highly recommend it but it does take teamwork to make sure that you're tracking in the water properly and making certain turns. Um, accordingly. When you're all done you can keep on going to the 14 mile marker but we stopped at the 7 mile marker and you just stop off over where you see that little beach area off to the right side. Then you just leave your kayak or your canoe on the shore and they pick it up for you. You walk up the hill and there's a bus waiting for you to take you back to your car. The bus ride back to the facility only takes about 5 to 10 minutes to get back so you just enjoy the ride and enjoy the view. After you're done with the bus ride and you're back in the facility, there is a really nice bathroom that awaits you, has a really nice changing room, and a shower. That's it for today's video. If you want to check out this awesome place, I left a link in the description below. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. And as always, thank you all for watching.